was like, wait, what? <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So before we get into the video today, we want to ask you guys to please like the video and also subscribe to the channel. And over on Patreon, we have some videos and yep. exclusive content as well. So go check it out too. All right, my first topic is, uh, what are the responsibilities of a man in a relationship? Or what changes when he gets married? Mm. Mm. <laughs> I feel like- What do y'all look for in a man in a relationship? A man to want to be in a relationship with him? What do we look for? Mm -hmm. I feel like I look for a guy that's like, if not on my level, like, higher than me. You feel me? Like, he has to have it together. He just has to have it together. He has to just fit. Check all the boxes. I heard you say, um, niggas don't be having cars earlier, right? <laughs> they don't. So, <laughs> they don't. so is that is that a requirement? Is that a requirement? Of course. Wait, do, do you have a car? Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So, if you got a car, why he got to have a car? Right. I'm going to pick him up. How are we gonna be going out? I'm gonna be picking him up. Yeah, <laughs> no. every time. You got the car. Yeah, <laughs> no. if, he, if he was the only one that had a car, he would gotta pick you up every time, right? right. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, of course. But he's the man, he's right? The man. Like, all right. So when you that's... when you drive to his house, get out the driver's seat and let him drive. Mm -hmm. Whoever's got the car, we stuff everybody in there, and then like whoever's got it, got it. Like it is what it is, right? Yeah. So I think. In dating though, I'm not gonna lie, I think it's different with women in the sense of if the man is driving, then it feels like you're leading the situation. I don't think it should be to look down on anyone that doesn't have a car. Like if you have the car and like maybe he can meet you somewhere so you don't feel a way about it. Like, I don't know. He meets you somewhere so what, he like, takes the bus there? <laughs> no, I'm not sure, Uber, like whatever, right? Like, I don't know. Yeah. Um, but I'm just saying like, there are other ways, maybe, maybe not in the beginning, maybe obviously in the beginning you guys meet at whatever restaurant or wherever you guys meet up for your first date, right? Mm -hmm. And then I think afterwards, once maybe she gets comfortable and he's, doesn't have the car she does, mm -hmm. then she would be more open to like driving because you've guys gotten to know each other more. You I think, think, you think I think so? that would have been fine. You yeah, think she'll be cool so. with that? Modern women are disqualifying men yeah. for breathing too loud. You know what I mean? So the yeah. fact that yeah. I drove there as a woman and you took the bus or you took Uber, like that's already a red flag for a lot of modern women. Unless, unless you're maybe going downtown and it's... Mm. Uh, you know, obviously in Toronto, it's very congested. I was just thinking that. I'm right? like, if you're in a big city, like, come on. Not, right. Most people don't have a car. Like, you have to be understanding about that. Your, your job? <laughs> no, but I have a car. She got a car. Uh, but but I have she a don't car. know how to drive. You got a car, but you don't drive? Yeah. You don't have no license? <laughs> I have my permit. <laughs> she getting there. She getting there. Okay. Okay. But I have a car. Look. I mean, I appreciate I the ambition. She got the car look. before she got she the license. I was going to say, motivation. So, y'all feel the same way? Does, is there a height requirement he has oh. to have? <laughs> six feet and, if you're not six feet and above, it's it's flipped. It's I, over. I told you, by the way. I'm like five, six and a half. I could still, I'm not five, six feet, but I could still pick you up like Ben Rames, my no. baby boy, <laughs> with the refrigerator open. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be six feet and above. Why you gotta be six feet? Because that's a requirement. Like, Why? I wanna look up at my man, not like, you know. You can yeah. still look up at a man if he's taller than you. Like. No, it gotta be six feet and above. Like, I've turned down so many people, you gotta be thinking about that. That's just it. I feel like it, yeah, for me, like, just going off of, <laughs> they just gotta be taller than me. I say that. At first, I was like yeah. six feet. Like, now it's like, as long as he's taller than me, I don't care. Yeah, yeah, I do know the, per you know, a percentage of the population is actually over six feet. Well, how much is the percentage? Yeah. It's, it's like, it's like, it's a small percentage. It's a, it's, <laughs> yeah. I would say it's like, like, like 12% of the male population is over six feet and that's tall. Not like, it. So, yeah, disqualifying like 85 plus percent of the people Maybe. of men. If it's 10% of all men, by the way, so this is all different races and whatever, they're specific being like he has to be six feet and black even smaller. He has to be six feet in black and then making a certain amount of money, even smaller. So it's, there's always these extra requirements that get layered onto it. So just because he's six feet mm -hmm. and he's he's not making any money, they would still disqualify him. Right. So it's like, you're never gonna be fully happy with all these requirements that you have. So many women being like, he's gonna cheat anyway, so I might as well just share him with you. Like that's, it's more of like the fed up mentality. I'm like, I'm just, I've tried and it just hasn't worked out for me to find a loyal guy, I guess. So these women are like, I want the guy who makes a lot of money, but if it means that he's gonna share, I have to share him with other women, then so be it. I might as well just do it that way. But then it's like, what are you like, fed up about? 
There's guys that are five foot six. But they don't five, make the money. Five foot seven. They don't make the money. That's the problem. Okay, so, so what about the guys like, that do make the money? Yeah. Because we have guys that watch this channel that make money. Yeah. Right? Six six figures. And they're five seven or five eight. So I mean, what about those guys? Yeah, I didn't even get to nothing else. Like you ain't even get about dick size, about <laughs> how much money he <laughs> made. Potential. But that yeah, like so matter. my thing is yeah. women have these yeah. expectations and that's fair. You know what I mean? But are you willing to compete for those men? Because those men are high, they're in high demand. Like every fee, every right. female wants that type of man. Like, you I know believe what I'm women should be competing, competing for a man. So you, so you don't think you should co compete for that man? No. Why are we you, competing for the men? You understand that there's more women than men on the earth, right? <laughs> I, I get that. Like for every like, man, there's like five, six women. That's no. why. That, that's why y'all be sticking with that same cheating ass nigga that every girl that's trying to get. And then, and then, yeah, eliminate most of them men because they gotta be a certain height, make a certain amount of money, <laughs> like yeah, have a, I mean, a yeah, certain dick size. Like you know what I'm saying, like okay, that's that's fair. why you gotta compete. Not, <laughs> no, but, that, like, that, that, but I have no issue with women having those standards. Right. But are you willing to compete with the ninety plus percent of women that also want that same man? Why should he pick you? Why should, why should he? Right. No, I'm, I'm asking. Why, why should he? Every ninety percent of the women said that same thing. Why? Why should he? Pick, what quality? Because ninety percent of the women is not me. That's how I see it. I, listen, <laughs> don't even get me started on this topic. It's harder to find a woman who's naturally beautiful, like the one who could look good without any wigs, okay. any whatever. So you're talking your shit any, right now. Like. <laughs> Like no makeup, whatever. Like to actually be naturally beautiful is mm -hmm. so much harder because the, like there are so many women who obviously do the comparing thing and then they have self esteem problems, so they think they have to wear all this makeup to compete with all these women and try to look a different way. It's your Beyonce saying that shit, and you stand next to Beyonce, and she like, yeah, but she not me. Beyonce, like, why should I sign you to my fucking Ivy, whatever her daughter name is? I'm mm -hmm. sorry. I'm why, sorry. why should I sign you to her record label? And you saying because I'm me. Like you think she gonna you think she gonna <laughs> sign you? Like imagine you going for a job. Why should we hire you? Because I'm me. Right. Like, <laughs> like, right. So like like I, I said mean, again, I don't have an issue with women having these standards. But are y'all willing to compete for those men? Because they have the options. They have the variety of the options. They could pick it a litter. They could choose you, 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 mm -hmm. the other but girls I mean, out there. Was, like, but what about the girls that just get the guys that six and up? I got all the money. That got the car. And I got everything. Like the girls, the girls that all just, the money get the guys. And I'm saying, what about the girls that get the guys that have all the money? They six and above. They loyal. They handsome. Like, yeah. were they just lucky? What girl? I'm I'm confused. What the question is? I'm saying, like you saying, we got to compete. They're, I'm gonna about... tell you, they're competing and they're telling the man why they should pick them. And they're winning. They're winning. They're clearly real, real quick. You in a relationship? No. Are you in a relationship? No. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> it's not looking too good, man. I, I mean, lie. I feel like in some, we all competing, to be honest. These girls are not even in relationships, so yeah. they're speaking in hypothetical terms. Yeah. She's trying to put herself in the situation if she was the lucky one to get a guy who is loyal, makes all the money, who is six feet and over and all mm -hmm. that. She's trying to make herself being like, well, I can be lucky and get this, even though, and I don't have to compete and do any of that. But why do like, like why do some women think that way? It's like this fairy tale Disney crap. Like I'm gonna trip and fall, and a high value man is gonna take me and my masculinity. Like it, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> yeah, but I think it's because she thinks so like highly of herself. It's okay to think of yourself as like think in a high regard of yourself that's fine but i have to have some understanding and be a little bit humble and understand that like listen there are some things that i can work on mm -hmm. to put myself in a better position to get the guy that i i desire mm -hmm. right but a, a lot of these women don't really think of themselves in areas of where they can improve they just think they're perfect i understand if i'm dating you and you're single like obviously you're probably talking to people i'm talking to people mm -hmm. but it's just a respect thing like Guys be wilding out here. You know, like, I shouldn't... I'm just talking to you. We're just dating. But I got, like, three, four girls hit me up. Like, oh, I talked to him, too. That's my man. And it's just too much. You know, that's mm -hmm. when it's just like, all right. Now I'm out. Now I don't want to compete. Because it's just like, this is messy. Mm -hmm. And I don't think it's, like, no. But again... It's not, wait, wait, it's oh, not like she eliminated the competition right there. You can just get right the guy who's under 16. What do you mean? Because, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. Like, yeah. I don't want to do that. I get packed up. And then you like do this, so she's like, oh, that's one less one I gotta worry about. Check, check. Like, that's what it is. Why wouldn't you want a guy that picks you over all of them? 
Like, you, gotta, you have to you, have qualities that you exactly, want to pick. Yeah, that's, exactly. what we're asking. that's what we're asking. That's what we're asking. Okay, okay. What, why okay. should you I mean, a guy, like, what, mean. Guys, what do you feel like a guy would want, like, no, to we, pick? You can't feel no, like, 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 you got to I'm not a guy. I wouldn't know. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, I can say what I feel like. I can respect that, but you got to tell me the qualities that you have. Okay. Because you said, I mean. So, I mean, stands for something that a man is like, oh, she, her. Oh, you so know you want to know the qualities that I have? Yeah. Well, I feel like I'm I'm, I'm ambitious. Okay. I'm definitely a hard worker. I'm smart. I'm funny. I get the, I feel like I get shit done. Like, I'm not just going to sit there and just... And it sounds like your interview money. answers. I ain't going to lie <laughs> and to you. I'm saying, <laughs> like, you know, guys, like, it's mad girls out here that just want a guy that got money to splurge on them and shit. Like, I got my own shit. You know what I'm trying to say? I got goals. I got stuff that... I'm, I'm going to stop you right there. Mm -hmm. But those are all personal things. Mm -hmm. A man don't reap the benefits of your goals, your of your heart. He gonna you reap the benefits. Like I'm not gonna be. You feel me? I'm gonna be right here with him. He not gonna be right here, and I'm gonna just be right here Why begging. Not? It's okay to also say you don't know. I think it's it's too many people trying to say like I have. I think I have the answer, and just saying what they what they think. But truly, she didn't know, and she was just trying to like say whatever she came whatever came to mind, right? So for her, I think she would have just been better to be like, you know what? I really don't know, and I would love for you to teach me of like maybe something. I can learn right right but that so. uh, that requires accountability yeah. that requires her to be in a vulnerable situation to say i don't know True. yeah teach me man yeah and you know what i mean like that dynamic alone is gonna kind of put her on the defense but that would that would literally skyrocket her to the right area if she was if she put herself in a very minor vulnerable situation to say you know what tell me i really don't know and maybe you could you could bring me some insight that i i wasn't aware of and she could have he they could have easily told her being like you need this 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 being feminine being uh like you know know how to cook know how to clean take care of yourself and all those things she could have ran with that and then be like all right now i have my list of what i provide to a man mm -hmm. she would have been set she would have been good but so. again that list requires accountability right yeah, I know. knowing I know. is not gonna, enough yeah. you, you actually have to do the work now yeah and if she's looking at that checklist and thinking that she's perfect in her mind and that checklist is saying otherwise sure, then she's not going to put the action forward because yeah what incentive do men have to marry women if we're getting all the same benefits in a regular relationship well, this is why you see some women uh, date, date women, men for like 10 years oh he never put a ring on me you never gave him a reason to do that you gave him all the benefits the kids the loyalty exactly. the sex so I'm not going to willingly go sign a contract with the government like if I don't have to like you know what I'm saying like so what do you feel like should change I think honestly it boils down to kids mostly kids. I feel like we're in a society now where people just have kids you know but me I feel like kids are a family thing I mean you know, there's some people that don't want to do it that way. And, you know, but I feel like once people started having kids outside of marriage, then it kind of like is it kind of made people think like, why even get married? Mm -hmm. You know, so for me personally, I think what changes, I think most of the responsibilities of a man, it's it kind of stays the same. But I really feel like the kids play a part. You know, like growing, that's the purpose of marriage, I feel like, yeah, in a you, sense, to, to build, build a family, family, family yeah. you know. If you already built the family, then of course he doesn't feel like he needs to marry you. I think that alone says a lot about, you know, how to move forward, especially young women like like them, mm -hmm. to, to really understand being like, okay, like, if... I have kids before marriage, he's most likely not gonna marry me, but I want marriage. Maybe that's something for you to reconsider being like, all right, what is my goal? And kind of understand that first. I'm a big component on marriage. Like I feel mm -hmm. like we are lacking that in the black community and we're seeing the re repercussions of single mm -hmm. parent households like or fatherless households. We're seeing the ramifications, like more men yeah. are, more men are, the more men are being criminals, growing up to be criminals, going to jail. Usually they have a single uh, a mother, single mother, single no father in the household. We're having all this division amongst each other in the black community. There's really no communities. You know, when we talk about um, when black women say, oh, we don't feel protected. And, and that's true. And that's not something to take yeah. lightly. But usually the people that protect women immediately is their family and husbands. Like those are the people that protect them immediately. Like if something happened to you, mm -hmm. you should be able to call your cousin, uncle, brother, yeah. father yeah. to immediately come handle that situation. Yeah, yeah I got to stop. People have to stop looking at strangers on the street and expecting them to come and be Superman. 
go get your go get your people your that's family. going to your family. Mm-hmm. Those are the your husband. So when we take away those aspects of family and husband, then obviously you see the I lack of protection nothing, yeah. and with black women. Like you know what I mean? So mm-hmm. I think that's a I think that's a, a great um a reason to get married. People in my family, like marriage and community is very, very important, right? So and majority of my family members are married and with children and have like grandparents as well. I think I've mentioned this in another video, like my grandparents are like 70 years married. So mm-hmm. it's very common for me to see this and also understanding how much like that is your foundation for the rest of your life, right? So, and you have people there to help and support you and guide you through life that you know you have the strong sense of family and community mm-hmm. that you know you have people around you that want the best for you. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and end this video. Let us know what your thoughts are in the comment section. And until next time. Bye, guys.